Welcome back guys. Um, today we're going to start on cleaning the workbench and the garage. We're going to put the expedition right in here for the next few days, probably the next week. Like you saw in the last video, the transmission seal, pump seal, front pump seal, front torque convert, whatever you want to call it, is leaking. So Kyle and I are going to drop the transmission. So my goal tonight to get this all cleaned up, workbench cleaned up, everything ready to go so we can pull that transmission comfortably in here and not have to worry about shenanigans. I'm gonna probably be this, maybe this evening, after I get the expedition parked in here, I'm going to start pulling, you know, drive lines and exhaust out and getting those things ready. But I gotta move the Dodge and the Ford and get all this stuff, get the expedition in here. Probably gonna center it in here you guys don't care. Let's just start the episode off. Let's just get this going. So. So what this is, is actually an expansion for my business. Um, dirty Dodge exhaust. Rum. Just a bunch of shenanigans going on in here. But uh, yeah, another carpet cleaning truck. So it's got, this is a, a direct drive unit. So it doesn't have air conditioning. But where the air conditioning pump used to go, there's a clutch system there. That's what's making that noise too. I gotta figure out why it's doing that. Ugh. But it turns over a drive line in here that comes through the doghouse, turns over the cat pump and the all the goodies inside that doghouse. Heats up the water. And uh, you just turn the key on here. Wake her up a little bit. Yeah. Hydraman, Hydracat, Hydravan, 4.7 unit. I've had it on a couple jobs, it doesn't do too bad. I don't think I can get any closer than that and hopefully there's nothing in that drawer that I need I don't think there is this is <laughs> this is tight quarters in this garage but I am pretty sure we're going to be able to close well, I'm gonna check it real quick I do not want to take the rear bumper off this thing that would suck I do it in the shop but uh, long story short is Papa's got a huge remodel going on and they just won't fit in the barn right now. There's so much crap in there. Feel all them horsey powers. And slipping transmission. All right, guys. Got the expedition here, got it set where I wanna go. I've got some cameras set up. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a time lapse 
But I'm also, this is gonna be a weird video. We're normally just a blogging automotive cha channel, but I'm also gonna do a how to remove a transmission. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's something new. Let's do a how to step by step. First off, uh, I'm not a professional mechanic. You could call me a shade tree mechanic. You could call me whatever, but anyway. Um, I've done a lot of engine swaps in my day. I've done a lot of transmission swaps. Um, I've done some engine rebuilding. I've come and swapped this. If you're new to the channel, this uh, Expedition is a 2002 with a 4BT Cummins in it. It has been running and driving great for 10,000 miles. We've had a couple little bugs here and there. Uh, this was unfortunately one of my faults, and I'll explain later. But let's get uh, let's get going on this. So basically, how I like to start a transmission swap is a either chalk chalk or make sure your e-brake works in this case the emergency brake works really well i set the emergency brake we're going to go ahead and take the front drive line and the rear drive line out to start with so start with drive lines let's get the drive lines out So the front drive line in these are kind of hard to get out, guys. Um, that was one hour, one hour of my life I will never get back. Yeah, Kyle's here finally. Yeah. He had to, you know, get up, have breakfast, nice sit in his chair and drink a pot of coffee. Yep, that's exactly what I did. I know him too well. So uh, just caught him up on. Uh, so guys, like I said, we're doing a little bit of how-to here. So that front drive line. I had to get some air after it and a big breaker bar. It does take a, where'd the damn socket go? Yeah, 12 millimeter, 12 point. These are all 12 point uh, bolts and they're all the same bolt. So it doesn't matter front to rear. Uh, front drive line has a slip yoke. So you just push it together, comes out easily. As you've seen in the, the time lapse there, I was using the jack since this is all wheel drive, automatic four wheel drive actually, not all wheel drive. I was uh, jacking the front tire up here to spin the drive line to get and then putting it back down so I could get after it. These were Loctited in from Ford. See, look at that. It's Loctite. Not fun. It was a bit difficult. So 12 mil, both transfer case and differential side, uh, breaker bar, uh, PB blaster lubrication ain't going to break these. Not going to help you. So don't squirt it. Don't waste your, your fluid. When you're Loctited in from factory like that, the best thing to do is get after it with a breaker. Rat tat tat, get her done. All right, Kyle just confirmed what I thought was going to be true. The, the rear the rear drive line is also a 12.12 12 millimeter. Uh, you can get after it with a opened in a wrench or a socket. Kyle is digging through everything. And uh, yeah. So step number two, if you are working on a Cummins expedition, we don't think we're gonna have to pull our exhaust system. We might recorrect ourselves later on down the road, but if you guys are working on a Triton motor, four, six, five, four, you guys, you, you guys are gonna have to pull the exhaust system. So go ahead and do that next. 
uh, uncouple it from the two collectors, the manifolds on each side, drop it all down, make your best judgment call on how much pipe you got to remove. I can't remember what mine used to look like, but I think there was a stopping point somewhere back after the transfer case where you can unbolt it and slide that out. All that exhaust has to come out because uh, you got to drop that cross brace down. Go take a look. Your guys' exhaust bolted to that guy right there and comes through here. It's going to be in your way. We are going to pull this transfer case down. We're going to slide it back that direction. We're not pulling this cross brace out. We're going to slide the transfer case back off the transmission and then we're going to tip it forward and lower it down. Hopefully that works. Uh, this cross brace has come out though. This whole main cross brace here. Uh, this cross brace right here is for your torsion bars. I mean, you can pull that, but that's just more work. That's just that's just wiping before you poop. That's not going to make any sense. So, uh, like I said, your guys' uh, exhaust is going to come down here. Or it's actually going to come back here, go across to the other side. So all that, the Y pipe has to come out. Uh, we have one straight diesel pipe because this has been converted to diesel. So let's go ahead and check out this transfer case. I'll see you in a minute. All right, transfer case is unbuckled. Kyle and I got all six of the bolts out. Uh, there's two fuel lines. The your fuel lines run right above the transfer case, believe it or not. And you'll have that bracket to put back in. Uh, don't forget the plug. We're not there yet. But you gotta unplug the transfer case. It looks like there's one plug underneath there, then the transfer case comes down. Kyle wants to muster it. I told him we're gonna go get the transmission jack. So well, we're gonna get the transmission jack. Yeah, we're gonna have to have it anyways for the put it underneath there so. and lower it down that way so we're at a breaking point for right now to go get the transmission jack and we'll be back in a little bit yeah it's, it's got, been a while it's got bigger gap than adam steve <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember we gotta unplug that yes, so the uh plug is unplugged the oops the vacuum lines unplugged the drive lines are out this should just wiggle on out then come down and make a big fucking mess well that couldn't have been in a better spot right oh, we're so, oh, we need to go up hold on <laughs> doing this is stupid exhaust this that's all that's fucking us right now that stupid exhaust bracket there we go that Ford. Get the jack out of the way. Okay. This train is pretty clean. Huh? This train is super clean. It was re I know it was rebuilt. So, transfer case, six bolts vacuum line and the plug we use it came down pretty easy to two people next well now we got just the transmission and the cross brace um, so now you need to unplug your range sensors um, and all the other sensors that are plugged into this transmission and uh, take the bracket for the uh, part reverse uh, shifter your automatic shifter inside the vehicle go ahead and take take uh take this bracket off and unclip it right here from the lever the shift lever on the side of the transmission pretty easy pretty straightforward these are two 10 millimeter um uh, bolts that are on the side of the transmission i'm going to go ahead and take these out and i'm going to take the bracket slide it to the side and then i'm going to put the bolts right back in the transmission so that way we we don't lose them like I just tried to do right there. And then, let's see. Also, you need to disconnect your transmission dipstick tube as well. Get all the accessories off this transmission. Yeah. Kyle's going to work on that. But before he does that, I'm going to go grab him the dummy plug that I've made for this. When you pull that, it is going to leak fluid. 
But if you've got, I've got something to plug that's going to go back in there so it doesn't leak fluid on us. Uh, you can build one. I will, I don't think I'm going to demonstrate that, but I built a plug that goes in the transmission. Um, other than that, we will get back to you as soon as we get all these unplugged and we're going to work on transmission bolts. Also, while you're doing all these, the transmission, uh, to the check tube, uh, get that out. And you're, when you're working on getting all the plugs and your shift linkage and all that stuff, um, you got two transmission lines on that side, passenger side. We will let you know what size those are in a second and when we get to those. All right. So James and I were looking, and I've got one transmission bolt down here, one up on the other side of the starter. And James and I are pretty positive that the starter just bolts into the adapter plate so on our application we don't have to pull the starter out of this um, if you're doing this on a triton motor you're gonna have to remove the starter to get with that but you can see that right there i've got two transmission lines the dipstick which is gonna puke and piss all over me it's gonna suck and uh, then we got to remove the cross member here <clears throat> and then ship we we should be ready to go. We've got everything unplugged wire wise. Okay. You can show them that if if they go out to the junkyard and find themselves a transmission tube. So what I did is I took a transmission tube, cut it, and then I put, threw JB Weld down it. So this creates a plug, so you can t pull your tube out, slide this one in, and then you don't get transmission fluid all over the freaking place. But That's, you okay? This is gonna suck. This part's gonna suck. So we'll we'll go back to the time lapse on this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this plug right here on the, the running board. Okay. All right, transmission droppers. Kyle's getting the last little bit on that side. What's going on? It's Give me not a half inch. What? The exhaust is in my fucking way. Extension? Is that what you said? Half no, inch. just a half. Just give me the half inch wrench. It should be right there. Is it a half inch? To go oh. Over oh. <laughs> Um, so guys, uh, these are all the cross brace are the night 18? Is that what that is? 18? 18 millimeter. 18 millimeter. I'm not sure 100% what your transmission bolts are going to be. Like I said, beginning of the video, we swapped this out and we have an adapter plate. Oh, the training's already coming back from the, look at that. See that gap? Uh, so mine are going to be different than yours. So I, I'm not 100% on that. The transmission lines over there take a three quarter and a 16. Do not try to use a five eighths on that. You no. will round, round them off. Need to be a 16. There is a difference. And um, make sure you get your, there's four, there's four torque converter nuts that you're gonna have to, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I think that one's charged. That was the other one. Oh, that was the other one. So there are four nuts that have to be taken off the torque converter. Otherwise you'll pull your tranny and the torque converter will be still up on the flywheel. You don't want that. You want it to go with the transmission. Beautiful. You got weight. Yeah. There we go. And then we're gonna drop this guy. And then one, you're gonna need this. Uh, you can either put a, there's a chain. There's a chain that comes on the uh, transmission jack. I didn't like that. I take a ratchet strap, like, you know, ratchet strap. Go around the transmission, tighten it down, 
and yeah the torque converter did not want to come with the transmission don't know what's going on here guys but we're gonna all right now we have volume because that one doesn't catch any volume with that case on so It's loose. Okay. I'm gonna come down with nice the transmission. Oh. It wants to come now. Your Great. Converter? Okay. Oh. I do not want to drop that fucking thing. No, I don't either. <sighs> Back in the transmission. What's going on here? There she goes. She's in there. I got her back in the transmission. Okay, now we gotta, let's just tilt this guy. Dude, that fucking engine mount's holding that engine well. Do we still have gap right here? Or is it sitting on the cross brace? Oh, you still got gap. Oh, fuck yeah, sweet. You got this much gap. Nice. That was my biggest fear is the motor rocking back or forward. But uh, how the fuck are we going to do this? It's going to have to go down onto the floor now. Okay, I'm gonna lift. My, you want to go your direction? There's more room on your yeah, side, right? Yeah, I want to pull. I want to. Let me get the lift up. Oh, let me get. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to reset the torque converter. It's got. There we go. There it's going in. There we go. Perfect. We're gonna pull this as soon as we get out. Yeah. Uh, this is some good, good shit here, Tater. Okay, I'm gonna. Do you want me to lift, or do you? What do you want to do? I've got my fingers on the torque converter. I wanna, you got you need some more room? Can we we can't turn the just the top part sideways? Yeah, we can. You want me to tilt it towards you? No. No. This doesn't turn. It's the. Oh no! You want me? To, I could tilt the plate. What the fuck is this? Fuel lines. I told. Oh, that's the breather. Okay. That's the transmission breather. Okay. So that. Take that top bolt out while I'm thinking about it. We don't catch it on anything. Oh, that didn't work. Now we're on the. Oh, we got this one passed. Yeah, I've got one over on this side. That damn fucking sh stupid fucking heat shield. Hold on. Ugh, let me bend it up back out of the way. Okay. What do you want to do now? I'm going to set the nose of this on the ground. Okay. Just give me a second here. God damn fuck. That torque converter's coming out again. I'm just caught up that stupid... Get it out of there. I can't. There, okay, okay, okay. Come down. You're gonna have to pick it up off of my leg. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> we didn't lose any more fluid. You gotta spin it. You gotta spin it. <laughs> Training's out. Here we go, guys. Let's pull the torque converter. That's actually a small training, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's not, not very big. Uh, we need something under the front. Should just slide. It's a heavy son bitch. This has been rebuilt. I know, that's what I... The transmission has. Yeah. That's what we can call it. Seal. That seal? That seal will go into the torque converter. Well, that's where it's all leaking out of. Right yeah, that's now. fine. That's fine. This is the main seal. That's the pump seal that goes around here. This is the one that I'm, I thought was leaking. But also, this is wet down here. This has all got a big O-ring, I think, behind it. Don't know. It's all going to get replaced. Yep. And all we have to do is pop those bolts out, and that whole cover comes off. Yep. That's three seals. Two on our end, and one that somebody's gonna press in. All right, well, it's out. Thanks, out. thanks for watching part one. Thanks for watching part one of two part, actually it's gonna be a three part series. We're gonna do one part, transmission out. Second part is going to be some cleanup that we couldn't get in there and do, and we did not have uh, soldering technology back then that we do now. So we've got some wires that we're going to fix and solder instead of having them connected the way they are. While we got that transmission out, we're going to check out our uh, rear main seal. All the stuff that's hidden behind there, it's going to make it a lot easier to get to the uh, exhaust so we can see if we can fix that downpipe or have a new one built and put, put in there correctly. Um, 
I think I think that's about what we're gonna do. Yep. Even if this has to be down for a couple weeks, and I mm-hmm. can figure this out. Uh, Want to get it done right. Exactly. I mean, we, it's not that we didn't do it right the first time, but I think we rushed it. Yeah. It was getting so tiring at the end. We we rushed a little, you know, we rushed a couple things, and we're gonna fix those now. Like this doesn't have backup lights, and I've noticed when I go to the supermarket to back up, it's nice to have reverse lights because people know you're gonna back out of the spot, so they stop to wait for your spot. That kind of stuff. So, just having some little things fixed here and there for part two. Um, like I said, like Kyle was talking about the downpipe. I do not like the downpipe that we built on this thing. And I found somebody that's going to build me a custom. Basically, I can take a mine and they can just copy it and make it without seams and shit. So, because right now we've got flex pipe, really good flex pipe. They're not chintzy flex pipe, but there's a little piece of flex pipe clamped onto a four inch tube. And I just want it all one solid pipe and a good clamp on the end. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if, you have watched, if you're new to watching this channel and you like what you see, drop us a subscribe drop a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and uh, give this video a big thumbs up that'd be awesome too i'm tired yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll catch you next time on central oregon shenanigans bye bye toodles